Hey everybody. All right, so I'm here to show you some more um, little projects that I made for the fourth. Um, and at this point, I'm using nothing but scraps. That's really all I'm using. I'm not cutting fresh paper. I do have some paper uncut, but I've just been able to use my scraps. So like I said before, I hate throwing away. So let me show you what I made. All right, let me move this out the way. Okay, number one, went to Michael's, and Michael's had these little frames in the dollar bin. The frame was already painted red, so I thought, I remembered I have a lot of um, little scraps that I didn't even really have to cut, so I was like, oh, that'll be cute for a 4th of July little scene. So, this is what I came up with, so I took... And I used the back of the paper. I don't even think I have any more. Oh, yes, I do. Here's another scrap. So I took this right here. This is um, out my vault, you all. Let me just say that. Because this is K and Company. And I'm telling you, I only use, like, pieces in, at a time. Because you all know there's no more K and Company. And so, yeah, this is an old paper pad. From K and Company. Actually, I got this from Big Lots. So you know it's really old because Big Lots haven't sold any scrapbook and stuff in a few years. So yeah, I love it, love it, love it. All right, so I took that and I put it in the back of the frame. I added some buttons. You all know I'm a button lover. I added some buttons. Um, I had a sticker sheet. I think the sticker sheet is all gone too. I had like one or two stickers on there. So what I did was I took this, the double flags and I stuck it on um, a piece of the pattern paper from the K&Company Company little stack. And then I put that, I, I popped it up um, with some chipboard and then I adhered a star button on top can you all see it turned out really really nice so it's gave it some dimension all right so then I use some red buttons some tiny blue buttons this is a good idea for you all who have buttons and you don't know what to do with the really really tiny buttons they're they're they are good for shakers all right so um yeah this is a shaker frame Love, love, love. I also used some of the little beads from the dollar bin at Michael's. I used some of that in there. And then I had some foil star pack that I got a couple years ago. So I used um, some of those. Let me show you all. I had a whole pack of these for you, red, white, and blue. I got these from um, Dollar Tree some years ago. So I put some of those white ones in there. And yeah, it shakes. Can you all hear it shake? <laughs> it is really, really, really nice. So then I use um, a straw. Some of the straws I think I showed in the previous video. I use these. I got these from Dollar Tree this year. I took a straw and cut two pieces um, off the straw, adhered that to the frame with two buttons down here, two star blue buttons. And these are some scatters that I got from Dollar Tree this year. And I put those on there to make kind of like a pillar effect on each side. And then right here in God We Trust, this is a sticker from an old sticker set that I got from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. So I put that on there and then I used my spell binders little um die and die punched this little shape out, a banner shape, and um put the sticker there. So at the top I used some ribbon from Joann's out there dollar bin last summer. And then this is another little strip that I had in my little scrap section. And so I adhered that in the front. You all, I think it came out really, really cute. And it shakes. And so you just sit it up like that. Yep. 
So these are the this these are the frames from the dollar fifty bin at Michaels. Uh, they were only fifty cent too. They were marked down fifty cent. All right, so that's the first one, and then they also had a blue frame. So basically, I did the same thing. Oh my goodness, this is just I love. I think this one is my favorite because this one is like a old um. Uh, what can I say? Um, the color scheme of this one is, I can't think of the word, what I'm trying to say. Um, vintage, vintage. I use that word. This is more of a vintage decor right here. I like it. Okay. This one is more like a summery bright. Yeah. Different, different decor. So you all, I was in love with this paper. It was an open sheet cardstock that I got from Archivers like four years ago. Oh, my goodness. I love that sheet. And, um, yeah, I literally pieced a little bit of that. So, that came out the vault as well. And I put that, matted that back there. And then what I did from the inside, instead of using the cream color beads, I used the white beads. Okay, so I used the white beads. I used some more of the scatters, red, blue, and white in there. And then I took a straw, if you all can see in the corner. I call myself making two firecrackers. So I took the red, white, and blue straw that I got from Dollar Tree this year. And I cut two little pieces, one taller than the other. And then I used the pipe silver pipe cleaner. This is red, but I used silver pipe cleaner for the little stem yeah i really love that and then i glued it in the little corner two little firecrackers <laughs> it came out cute then i took some ribbon that i have in my stash oh okay here go the ribbon i got this from walmart some years ago so i took some ribbon if you can see over here and i took a toothpick and I just made me a flag with the toothpick and the ribbon. And I adhered that in the corner. Came out really cute. It shakes. Can you all hear it? <laughs> it's so cute. All right. So then I used some of the um, tape that I have. Um, I got this from Joann's. So I used that and I outlined the frame. Right. Then I pulled out my little... Um, She's one of my faves. I love her from the Greeting Farm. I pulled her out. I love, love, love the way she turned out. So she's from here, the Greeting Farm. This is her right there. I colored her up with my um, regular big markers, the extra fine. I colored her up. And then for her skin, you all, this is the first time I got to use... Um, I used this Prima marker on her skin, and she really, really came out really, really nice. These are the Prima markers that came from um, Tuesday morning a few months back. So, yeah, first time I got to use that. And then I took and I used my little, um, what is this, my little sparkle pen and put the glitter all over her. And I think she came out cute. So over here, these are some banners that I got from Target this year at the dollar bin. Came like three or four in a pack. And then these came from Target. These are stickers. It was a sheet. And these are so adorable, you all. Oh, my goodness. And I hate that I only was able to find one. No other stores had them. I went to all the Targets looking for more of these stickers. I love those, but I got those from Target, and so then I adhered that there, and then this is a little um, die cut of a bike, because, you know, it's summertime, so this is my shaker, now, again, keep in mind that this frame already came painted blue, so I did not have to paint the frame blue, these turned out so cute, and you all, it did not take me any time to make these shakers. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm going to get it right because I'm, I'm going to get into to, um, Betty's challenge. But these shakers were really, really easy because they're just frames and everything is really there. So what I did was I opened this back up and 
I put, I took out, um, this is what came in the frame, in this blue frame. So I took this out and I took the little clear sheet out, right? And then I cut out, I traced this and I cut out the pattern paper. Then I adhered the pattern paper to the back of this piece right here, okay? Then I took the clear acetate piece and I adhered it on the top of the outside of the frame. So underneath this tape is where you will see the adhesive that I use to um, adhere the acetate down. And it was just that simple. So once I put the acetate on the outside of the frame, then I was able to go in. No, no, let me take that back. Before I put the acetate on the frame, I put the backing back in and closed these two things up. Then I built the inside, what I wanted to put in there. I put my beads and all my decorations. And then the last thing I did, I put the acetate on top of there. If that makes any sense. You all can go out and get you some frames. They, Like I said, they were on clearance for $0.50. Cent. And um, actually, I just got them. The thought came in my mind to make a shaker when I saw them. And um, yeah, so I wish I would have got more. Because actually with the red, I could use that. You could use that red for Valentine's. You could use it for Christmas. So yeah, at $0.50. Cent. Yep. So, all right, you all, I didn't talk long enough. This these took me no time to do, and I really, really, really enjoyed making these shaker frames. All right, so tell me what you think. Um, yeah, you know, all you all know I'm new to shaker making, but I guess I'm gonna get the hang of it. I just really, really love these, I really, really do. All right, tell me what you think, and um, yeah, leave me a comment. I welcome all new subscribers, and as I'm speaking of new subscribers, let me just say I am excited about the new subscribers that I have received. I received, I counted, 13 new subscribers just last week. I don't know why, but I did, and I'm grateful, and I welcome you all to my channel. I hope you find some inspiration in my um creations and yeah all right i'm signing off talk to you all later keep creating and be blessed